guys, I'm back and I'm happy that you are back as well here on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please have a look around. I hope you like what you see and I hope you will stay a while. I have today for you the first review of the first two products from my recent Moira haul. Today I will do the review of the pink little XL jelly stamper and of the stamping plate summertime which is the number 26. I have a confession to make this is the second time I have to record this <laughs> because I'm a little noob and I deleted the two intro videos. The video program I use on my iPad is so clever that when you save your videos on your photo library everything's fine. But when you forget to save them and you want to delete something, then they immediately delete it without having some possibility to recover them. So they are gone. So I lost both intros, the German and the English one, and that's why I have to film that again. And that's why I might say some things that are in the end as well. I I hope I will be able to edit it in a way that it doesn't get too long. Just to let you know, in case somebody thinks, hmm, there's something strange going on. <laughs> However, I was lucky I didn't lose all the swatches. Everything is still there. I just lost the intro with all the information where I do my measurements usually, where I show you the plate in detail, where I talk about the stamper in detail and so on. And this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna talk about the little pink XL stamper they have. You have seen it in my haul. I am totally excited about that. Where do we start? I link again the Moira online shops that I found. There might be different ones available for the US. I will link what Jamie had in her videos because she recently bought things and obviously everything went fine with the person she bought the plates from. So this is why I linked her Facebook link that she had. I will link that in the description box below. Let's start with this little pink stamper. It has two lids, one for the stamper head, which I always like when they give you a lid for the stamper head for these clear jelly stampers that nothing can happen when you store them, so I take that off. And then there is another lid at the bottom. This is also nice because then there is no dust coming in when you don't use it. And when you take it off, you really have a very, very clear view on what you are doing, what you are stamping here. And you can see the stamper is big enough even for my long thumbnails here. I will give you now the measurements and I will start as usual with the centimeters. This one is in the height almost 4.8, 4.7, 4.8 centimeters. The top here of the stamper head is 3. Point, also 3.7, 3.8. The bottom is 3 centimeters wide, just if somebody is interested. I think it's a good size holder. It's nicely fitting in your hands. You can easily hold it. And from the squishiness, it's a little harder than the Big Bling, which I will show you right now. So the Big Bling is really going in very, very easily. This one here is a little harder. It is squishy, but if you have longer nails, you might need to roll a little, depending on how long your nails are. The other thing that I would like to say what the difference between those two stampers is, and the only thing that comes up a little negative on this pink one, I will say it up front because I know already now. You see I have put on some washi tape inside here. The reason for that is that the little lid in between here is not as wide. So depending how much pressure you use when you stamp, you might have the issue that the stamper slides past that lid. OK, 
okay and goes in like that for example and then you have it like that this can be avoided with this washi tape i don't stamp as hard so that washi tape is enough for me but it can also be avoided if you have a hot glue gun then you can just put a little glue up here and of course then you have to let that cool down and totally dry and then you can put the stamper head again on and then it will not go past that glue. And I will show you the difference here when you see that this is quite a wide lid that's inside this stamper head here and therefore I never had a problem that the big bling was not staying in place. As for cleaning, I always clean all my new stampers with isopropyl alcohol, the stamper heads, before I use them just to make sure they are really clean. And then when I demonstrate them and have lots of fingerprints on them, I clean them again with a little lint roller to remove my fingerprints because if there are fingerprints on them, if there are oily fingerprints, when you have just or used hand cream or used cuticle oil and you have oily fingers, then the pickup might not be as it should be. You might have problems that the stamper doesn't pick up properly. But this is the only thing I use for cleaning. Do not, again, do not use ever acetone on these clear jelly stampers. Do not prime them with any files or anything. No, never. You can wash them with soap, you can use alcohol on them, but you never use a file or any of those magic sponges, you know? Nothing like that. You do not do anything like that. Otherwise, you will not have the clear stamper anymore. It will become clouded and this is defining the purpose of a clear jelly stamper. Just wanted to highlight that also again because you still see some people in videos fiddling around with acetone on these stampers. No, don't do it. This is it for the stamper. I paid 9 euro 20. I don't know what the UK prices or the US prices are. You have to see and have a look in the links that I will put in the description box. And for the plates, the first one I'm gonna swatch is the summertime plate number 26. And it's one of my plates from my latest Moira haul. And of course I will swatch as usual when I test a stamper. I will swatch different plates with different polishes. I will use stamping polishes, non-stamping polishes just to make sure that this one works with everything you throw at it. And I will always list below what plate I use, what polish I currently use. I had to get that one of course. The Moira plates from the size are the same as the Uber Chic size and the same as the Dixie plates and also how they are made. They don't have a backing so on the back there is only the brand Moira with a little paper so also for the edges they might be sharp so be careful when handling these plates or when your girls if you have daughters and they do manicures tell them to be a little careful, there might be sharp edges. This plate has half of it with full nail designs. The full nail designs of Moira are very, very big. When I put here my thumbnail, you can see it will fit. And my thumbnail is really, really long right now. So again, I give you here some measurements. This one is 2.5 centimeters times two in inches that is one inch times 0.7 then we can already see we have some really pretty ice cream watermelon mixed cocktails perfect nashi tutorials already said this would be perfect for a pond manicure a jelly pond manicure and i have to agree it's certainly gonna look nice then we have here some sharks some stingrays we have some 
summer lettering, sun, holidays, travel, vacation, sea, all these kind of things. We have some umbrellas, beach umbrellas. I like this one, this is really, really pretty. Then we have here a negative and a positive design for summer, sorry, for little summer designs. And here you have the positive designs, meaning this is highlighting the polish, the stamping polish, and this is only, with these you only get the outline of the stamping polish. So here you have also some summer designs and they put in some summer words as well. Here you have flip-flops in all kind of shapes and sizes. And here you have again a mixed design with words and little cocktails, ice cream, little starfish, really pretty. And I will move up the plate now to show you the lower level of the plate, which is individual designs. And we have up here some nice summer flowers that you can use for decals, advanced stamping technique, or you can do LED lighting. I like these here. It's like border of flowers that you can use. Then we have some summer hats. We have here some palm trees, also negative and positive. We have a steering wheel and a sailboat here, anchor, anchor and compass. Then we have here another bikini and another palm tree. This one I like, it has the beach umbrella, the beach and the beach lounge. And here you have travel, a lighthouse, another really, really pretty sailboat, which says Bon Voyage, I think. And then we have here Palm Beach. This is the plate. I will start with the swatches of this plate and then we will go into the other swatches. As usual, I will speed that up. So sit back, relax and enjoy. And I will see you afterwards with a detailed look at the swatches. See you later.
Okay, I'm back. I have stamped everything. The summertime plate is a beautiful plate with beautiful images. They stamped perfectly. Look at these little beach umbrellas. I bring you down a little closer. Isn't that a really, really cute summer design? I love it. Everything stamped nice. And the little pink Moira jelly stamper worked perfectly, had a really, really perfect pickup immediately when I stamped the first images. The only thing I would say that can be improved is the holder. The stamper is very sturdy. It's very nice. The size is very good. It's very nice in your hand and you have a perfect view if you remove the bottom lid as well. Perfect, nice, picked up as I said every time perfectly. I will give you again a close look at all my swatches. Everything here, all the delicate designs are there. I had two issues with this design and with this design but this was due to my scraping. This one here you can see there are some tiny bits missing here in the sides but this is because you have to scrape that image twice, once horizontally and then to put some more polish in all the corners again vertically. And I did that with this swatch up here again and you can see this one is perfect, everything is there so there are no parts missing. The only thing I wriggled when I put the stamper down. So you're not supposed to wiggle around going like you just need to push it down and then press it in so that it goes all the way. When you start to wiggle like that, you might get a distorted image what I have here. So it was the imperfections you see here are due to me. It's not the stamper. That was it for today. If you have any further questions or any comments or any feedback or you want to tell me anything, please do so in the comments box. I'm happy to read all of your comments and I will answer to everything. Don't be shy. I'm really, really happy about every comment I get. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please share with your friends. And if you haven't done so, up here is usually a link so you can describe. Just click on that, it's free. Then I would be happy because I see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you a wonderful time wherever you are. And I hope to see you in my next one. Ta-da!